YouTube world, I am back. And this is going to be a little 8 by 8 inch canvas. Um, it's going to be a test piece for a commission, which actually the commission is the same size canvas, but three of them. So it's going to be a triptych and it's going to be a seascape. And I've really wanted to get back into doing seascapes for a while now. So this is really looking forward to doing this. Client has chosen all her own colours. That's quite unusual, actually. What I'm going to do is run through them quickly. Um, I have cerulean blue, PBO. You have to be careful with cerulean blue because sometimes it can take over. Indigo, graduate. I haven't used that for a while, but that's there just to give a bit of contrast. The Aqua Flash, um, which is one of my favourite colours, the colour sugar paint, uh, Silver Limit, the Graduate Naples Yellow, and I have um, Amsterdam White here mixed with Floetrol. These paints are mixed with PVA, my normal pourer medium, two to one, two parts pour medium, one part paint. But this one is mixed one to one, the colour shift, because it's craft paint. Um, and I don't want to really dilute it any more than what it is. Now the, the flow troll, the white, is for a little bit of cell activation for the surf. Um, I have also just siphoned off some of the cerulean blue here into three cups, made one darker, one lighter, and one kind of mid-range. Um, and I've done that by adding some of the silver, just to knock it back a bit, so it's not so saturated. Now, I've also siphoned off some of the indigo and some of the cerulean blue, which I'll show you what I'm going to do within a minute. But when you plan, a, this is how I plan a painting. Um, and sometimes, well, I will, and I have done this with the client present. And you talk through your ideas and you're talking through your colours and you persuade them as to what would work and what wouldn't. And you always must do a test. And this is what I want to do now. Now, I know roughly that this yellow, the Naples yellow graduate, sinks <laughs> she says it might take over in this particular painting the cad cadmium yellows tend to take over but the naples yellows tend to be a bit heavier and sink um silver obviously is a um, semi-transparent so that is likely to mix well with other colors this one the Aqua Flash. I wonder if it tells you whether it's transparent or not. No. Nope. Um, pretty sure that's um, transparent. The indigo is semi-transparent and the um, cerulean blue is opaque. So already I've got a rough idea how these paints are going to interact with one another. But I just wanted to show you how I roughly will work something out in front of the client. <coughs> so I'll roughly draw the size of a square canvas, whatever size proportion of the canvas is going to be. I know she wants a seascape. So, and I know she wants a balloon roll. I haven't done one of those for on YouTube for a while. I tend to do a lot of them on um, in my workshops. I know I want to use the sky colours at the top. So it's these three colours here. And that will be a flip cup. It's quite a subtle sky. And I know that I want a straight horizon. I know coming down, we'll leave the middle in a minute. I know that I want some kind of C shape. Um, leading into sand, which will be the Naples yellow here. Now, I think actually, just thinking about it, I'm going to add some gold. 
Gonna add some gold in with my Naples yellow, which obviously needs a good stir. I think just to give it a little bit of a lift. Do I want to do that or not? Hmm. Do I want to use the ochre? I think I'm going to use a bit of the ochre. So that's going to be the um, Naples yellow plus the ochre here. Now, I want to create a little bit of depth at the top of the horizon line because you're not going to get the same size waves in the foreground than you are the distance. So I want these colours to be quite tight here. Down to about there. So this is the sky here. And this is the beginning of the water here, which will come down to there. Let's use my scribbles. So in the distance, I'm going to use the indigo and the blue, but I'm going to desaturate them by adding some yellow ochre. Now, I don't... I used to use golden paints a lot for fluid art, but it's... I tend to use them quite sparingly now. And I tend to just use them for desaturating colours, as I'm going to do now. Show you. So literally, if I was to mix this up, I'd be using proportions of five to one. So five parts pouring and medium, one part paint. I'm just going to add, was that three drops? And already I can tell that that is desaturated. Not enough, so I'll go in again. One, two, three. So of course, what you don't want is green. <laughs> and if you kept going, you're going to get green. Obviously, blue and orange. This is a kind of yellowy orange. Or well, opposite in colour wheel. So that will give you quite desaturated colour a bit more. will do. I don't know if you can see the difference. What I do also, if I'm using a lot of silver, just add a bit of silver in there, which will knock it back even more. There we go. So the colours that you have in the distant are nowhere near as saturated as the colours you have in the foreground. Just wondering if that needs to go back even more. That's given that a lovely shimmer as well, which will reflect lovely from the sky. So I need to do the same with my cerulean blue. Three drops to begin with. It's not far off actually. Big difference. A little bit of silver in that. I never settle really, eight times out of ten, for colours that come straight from the tube. I suppose that's my acrylic painting background using a limited colour palette. It's learning to mix your own colours. There we go, look at that. So there I have my colours. Techniques. If you've watched me before, you know that I fling any technique at a painting to make it work. And I know that I'm going to do a flip cut for the sky. And I'm going to do a flip cut for this part of the water. So I'm going to have two 
flip cuts. One with my sky colours, one with just these two colours here. I think I might do a flip cut there as well. Okay, so that's a flip cup. Three flip cups. Then in the middle here, I'm going to have a base of house paints. This is my house paint mix, which is just um, brilliant white, B and Q for walls and ceilings, silk, silk emulsion, but it's also got a tad bit of titanium white in there and then water to thin it down. And that's going to be my base here because I want that to react with these paints. I don't know if it will or not, <laughs> we'll see. Can, it all comes down to consistency. And to be honest, these are probably a little bit thicker than um, what I would do a seascape with. Now, I've kept them thick because this is a test. And I've mixed up enough paint to do all the triptych but I don't want to go any thinner in case um, it's not going to work. So here is probably going to be some kind of ribbon pour. Layer a cup up with the one, two, three, four colours, including that's including the silver, and then I'm going to tilt. So I will be pouring the flip cup first then I'll be leaving it to go off and then I'll be coming back to do the uh, ribbon pull. Well, that was a big waffle, wasn't it? one probably is going to be um, worked over the top there's, there's quite a lot of paint there and with the ribbon pour in the middle I'm going to be probably going over the top of this one we'll see that's quite a lot of paint <laughs> Oh, look at that. That is gorgeous. So there is quite a lot of paint there and I want to try and get that off. Love the sand. See, the Naples yellow did sink, but I'm hoping to bring some of that back with a balloon roll. Um, the horizon line could have done with been a little bit straighter. Okay, it's been about half an hour, actually. 
I'm just going to put some, I know I'm going to be doing blue and rolls over these colours. I don't want so much yellow. I'm just going to put some white base down now. reminds me of a painting I did a long time ago well not a long time ago but I think it was my very first seascape <laughs> completely by accident So I'm just going to start very softly blending some of these colours together and I'm just going to do that with literally, <laughs> I've run out of kitchen roll, I'm going to use toilet roll, it's very soft and I'm going to cut it to a point, I just want, I really want some, because the balloon roll is going to be quite dominant, I want just to subtly blend some colours together. So this is the house paint mix. Just going to subtly swipe with that because there's nice things happening there, which I quite like. Oops, that's my point. Well, I'm just wondering if I need the flow troll. What do you think I do? <laughs> I'm not going to do anything else to that now. Just the balloon rolls. I'm going to leave it another 10 minutes. Right, I'm going to go in with my balloon roll now. It's always a bit nerve-wracking but you've got to approach it confidently. <laughs> I'm just going to use some of my Amsterdam White with Aussie Flow Troll just a little bit. It's only been 10 minutes I might need to leave it longer. The thing is you can be very precious about doing things but even though this is a test you just got to do it. That's what tests are for. <laughs> ah. Oh, that happened. Where would you want to go? <laughs> Don't really want to do that.
so I probably overdid the balloon roll there, but I was just messing. Um, <laughs> there's a lot of movement. I tried to get a lot of movement into my paintings. Let's just see how it dries. Okay, I'm back with the dried results. It's early in the morning and the sun is shining through the window. Um, and there's this little beauty. I haven't varnished it yet. And you can just see, if you've just seen the horizon line, I've just straightened it lightly with um, acrylic paint. So you can see a bit of a difference between the gloss, but a varnish will take care of that. It's just lovely trying to catch the light. The way the silver and the aqua shift paint, there you go, kind of changes. Look, green, blue. I did go a bit crazy with the balloon rolls and just here, it began to split a little bit. So in the, this is the test. So in the actual one, the actual commission, which I've done, and I'm just going to show you a sneak peek of it. I ditched the Aussie flow troll actually. So let me show you the first one. Here we go. So this is the first of the three. So we'll just give you a sneak peek. They're all a little bit different actually, the three. But generally speaking, they look fantastic. Really, I'm really pleased. Really pleased. It's been a while since I've done a seascape and I've really enjoyed doing it. So I'm sure you're going to see more. And just with the leftover paint after doing these, I had two little cups on the side filled with paint that I didn't need to use. And um, they were sat there for about oh, an hour. So I'd laid my cups up and this is what I got. Here we go. <laughs> oh, it's just, it was just a straight pour. I thought I was just about to go out. I thought, oh, I've got this paint to use up. Look, isn't it beautiful? I just absolutely love this piece. And I didn't record it. So there you go. <laughs> so, it's been a long while since I've done a giveaway and this little beauty is going to be a giveaway. So I'm going to be doing this next week. I'm going to think up some tricky questions <laughs> or not, might make it easy. But yes, I didn't do a giveaway for reaching 5,000 subscribers. So um, I, I'm going to be doing this one. So stay tuned, watch next week and this could be yours. <laughs>